In this video, we're going to be looking at Gen 1 Beta by Runway that specifically allow you to do video to AI video by using words and images to generate brand new videos out of existing ones. So let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Barry. So we're looking at Runway today and specifically the Gen 1 Beta, which is now available via public. Now you get 400 free credits, but before I do that, just to let you know there are a huge amount of tools going on. This top one here is literally the banner of, of Gen 1 in terms of what it can do. So that's the popular tool that's going on at the moment. If you're interested in AI, for example, recreating your own kind of image to AI, then you can do that via here. You can transfer any image with nothing but a text prompt. You can just do so many things. You can expand an existing image and it'll actually use AI to recreate extra parts of that image as well. Lots of exciting stuff. You can even remove backgrounds. There's, the tools go on and on with Runway. They're really offering a lot in terms of AI magic tools. So what we're going to be looking at today is Gen 1 Beta, which is now available. You get 400 free credits. And the idea is that you click on it and then you can drag and drop your existing video here. So it could be, say, a stock video that you found somewhere else. It could be your own video that you want to use. So there's lots of different things that you can do for that. So what you do is you upload the video. Now, a word of warning, only the first three seconds at the moment will be processed, but they are going to be increasing that limit. So it's just to give you a bit of a preview in terms of what it's going to be able to do. So let's say you want to do a music video. What you'll do is you'll select the video prompt here. So I'm going to select just myself, pop that into there. Right, so now you can play the video. So you get the idea. So that's me as Cyber Monday. Then what you do is you use a style reference. Now you can use an image. So you could say you could drag an existing image over the top and it will use whatever is in that image to repurpose the video. You can use a variety of different presets which can be really useful. Hopefully they'll improve these in the future, but you've got things like origami, claymation, watercolor, cloudscape, pen and ink. You can amend the style strength as well. And there is an advanced section if you want like a lot more stuff on there. You will get a watermark on the bottom, but you can remove that as well if you upgrade the plan. You've got text prompt as well. So this is where you can really come into your own and, and create what you want. So I'm gonna say a retro wave, red, green, blue colors. No, not Rob. Red, green, blue colors in 4K. And I wanna be a robot from the 80s, okay? Then what we do, it uses a seed. You can randomize that seed as the model and then you can click generate. So remember, it's only gonna do the first three seconds of the video, but it really will give you an, an idea about how powerful this tool it can actually be. So let's wait for this to finish generating and we'll see what else we've got available to us. Also, just to let you know, it'll tell you how many seconds of footage you've got left before you need to buy any credits. Ooh. See, that's the watermark down there. So let's have a look, see what this does. Cool. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Imagine having the full video of that. It looks really realistic as well. It's even lit up the keys. Look what it's done there. It's, it's used the RGB reference and it's actually done that. It's, it's kind of kept the same background, whereas this was like a default hearts background. It's recreated it in, in terms of a spaceship. And yeah, it's completely transformed myself if you look at that, which I think is really cool. Let me just turn this sound off so that we can just have a look. So that was the original. And this is the recreated. <laughs> so good. Oh, I think this is great. There's even um, things online about Gen 2 coming in the future. So it's just mind-boggling what AI is currently doing. But I really like that. Obviously, three seconds is a limit, but they will be expanding it. But let's have a quick look at what you'd need to do in terms of the credits. So you'd be able to have a monthly plan or an annual plan. It'd be $15 per editor per month. You'd get 625 credits per month, um, seven editors. Obviously, the watermark will be gone as well. 
and you've got the pro version as well which will give you like three times more of the credits so yeah lots of options there let's have a very very quick delve into another tool that i really did want to see which was the infinite image one now this is something i've wanted to do for some time so the idea is is that you could have let's see can you put your own picture in that's what I wanted to kind of find out. Add image, there we go. So upload from computer. So I want to add this new image that I've just created for my new single. Now let's zoom out of this. There we go. So that is me created in AI, okay. So let's say here, we want to actually background of a spaceship generate it's going to analyze the image and then it's going to try and recreate the rest of where we are in AI. Hasn't done the best job. There we go. Obviously, because it's a square image, it's a bit tricky. So there we go. We've already enhanced that. So now let's have a look at finishing this little shape off. So if I type in planet, let's see if it understands that and tries to finish it off for us. This is a really cool tool, this, uh, yeah, there you go, it's done a pretty good job, but again, you've got four different options. I really like that one, okay? So then you can move that to here, and we could call it, I don't know, in space or something. Is it gonna do something completely different, or is it gonna try and recreate what we've done so far? Oh, don't like that one, don't like that one. Don't like that one. Okay, so what you can do, you can cancel it and maybe use part of the image to actually recreate it. Oh, okay. It's a bit different. Hmm. I think you get the gist of this. It's, it's quite clever, isn't it? So I'm going to accept that one. Let's, what if we put in absolutely nothing? Does it allow us to do that? So let's, let's have a look, generate. No, it doesn't, you have to put something in. What are these filters as well? You've got prompt weight, okay, and seed phrase. So I'll just put in background and see what pops up. So you're giving it a guide all the time and you're able to just expand that image infinitely if you wish, which I think is just strikingly amazing, isn't it? I mean, look at this. I'm gonna accept that one now. And I'm going to try and finish it off if I can. Eventually, you'll get to the end and you'll be happy with the, the whole image, which is which is great. Obviously, it's a bit of work to get there, but you have a lot more control about what it's producing. I really like that. That's, that's just amazing. Okay, let's finish this off. I really like what it's done here. It's got like the solar flare of the planet. Yeah, and it's continued that there. Let's see if we can get a full square now. Perfect, because I didn't want another planet, to be perfectly honest. Okay, now this is going to be a lot trickier because you've got the edge of the planet, you've got my head. Wow, that's done a really good job. Okay, generate again. I don't know in the future if, whether this is going to be larger for it to be a bit easier to, to recreate. Let's definitely cancel that one out. Let's go halfway. Oh, I started putting writing up the top. <laughs> Okay, it's a little tricky now. Let's just try and make it as easy as possible. The thing is, I have put background in as a text prompt. So maybe that's where it's getting confused. Um, what if I just put in blank and just ask it to generate? You can, and you see it's counting down the generations left as well. Wow, that's done an amazing job. So it's just finding out the right one to use, to be honest. And let's just say we want to finish this image off here. Nope. <laughs> let's use it as a guide. Halfway. Mm. Oh, there we go. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. So close. Will we be able to do it on this final one? Perfect. And then what we can do is we can download that image. And then we've got it for reference. Whee. That is amazing, isn't it? You can train your own generator. 
an animal generator, a custom generator, or a portrait and uh, editor. So that's good. Animator, generator. Gosh, so many words. Text to image. We're all familiar with text for image by now. It does a pretty good job with it, though, I have to be honest. What else have we got? Remove background. I think that's good. But yeah, Runway just has a lot of offering. I mean, all of the different tools that it's got. You got some templates here, like laptop display that you can use. You can remix, you can use effects, filters, video templates. The list goes on in terms of run, what Runway can actually provide. So yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you're interested in AI stuff. And I'll speak to you on the next one. Take care, bye.